A not so distant star that could potentially be similar to Earth. It's a pretty cool finding. Cor Harlan shows us what the planets look like and if we have potentially found Earth's twin planet. That finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when. Through the eyes of NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, scientists have been able to identify seven planets circling a dwarf star 40 light years from Earth. Three of the planets are in what's called a habitable zone where temperatures could be similar to Earth. This is a NASA illustration of what one of those planets could look like. Water, ice, and a view of this planet's sun and several other moons in the same section of sky. It's a nugget of progress for many of us who've wondered, are we it? Are humans on Earth the only life in the universe? What we really have in this story is a major step forward towards answering one of these very questions that are at the heart of so many of our philosophers of what we're thinking about when we're by ourselves, and that basically is, are we alone out there? These planets do not spin, meaning that they're permanently sunny on one side and dark on the other. OMSI's Jim Todd says it's still too early to see if there's a real atmosphere capable of supporting humans, but a new space telescope to be launched in 2018 will give space watchers a more detailed look at what surrounds these three planets in the habitable zone. Now they have to figure out a way how to detect the atmosphere of these planets, and then once they do that, then we have a, an idea whether it could support life or not. Mm. Yeah, it stands the logic that there has to be, in yeah. the vastness of the universe, living creatures somewhere else. Yeah, there has think to that. be. Yeah. 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 And it. we'll discover them one day, I'm sure. Yeah, hopefully they're nice. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>